What is going on guys, my name is Ron back again from On Reviews here <laughs> with another episode reaction to Azure Lane. It's been a little bit since we've actually done one simply because last week's episode was delayed by a week and I think it was probably due to all the animation that they put into the first episode. You can definitely see that later on during the throughout the episodes that the animation quality has dipped just slightly. <laughs> and in some parts it was, it was really noticeable. Now I'm assuming that whenever the Blu-rays do eventually get released because this is a very popular show um, that a lot of the animation mistakes or more fine details will be ironed out uh, for when it gets released um, and especially with all the uh, uh, censored portions which are apparently plaguing a lot of the uh, copies of this that are floating around right now and I think Funimation itself which is what I'm using uh, to watch this um, so it's an, it's an official site. I will always use an official site before I use a third-party site. One, it's because they're more pr less prone to like crashing or getting a bunch of ads. That's the main reason why, because I have Crunchyroll and Azure uh, and Funimation. So yeah, but anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode. It's been a long time coming. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into episode 7 of Azure Lane. Starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. If I can press play. War never changes. I do like how they like show like the visualization of this. Also, I do want to like talk about like last week or last episode when I finally got to react to this. Um. I don't know of exit price or what some people are saying or code G I think what it was because I didn't play a lot of the early earlier um, collaborations or events I really really started playing maybe the event before the Italian one like I really started getting into it basically around July Akagi Those eyes, though. Okay, and then an intro. All right. Cut the volume on that. Interesting. All right, so I'm trying to remember what I saw last. Because it's been two weeks. Since I've actually seen the show. And I, and as you guys know, and I'm very prone to it, I have the memory span of a gnat. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Hell, I'm still trying to wake up from working, have myself some coffee. I think that's one thing you'll always see me drink. Nothing else, coffee and water, coffee and water, coffee and water. Does this have anything to pertain to the anime? No. So it's because I have nothing really to say. Um, yeah, I've been playing. I'm. Oh, War Spot's about to get a retrospect. Um, retrofit. Not retrospect. Retrofit. And I'm just waiting to get her item. Until then. But yeah. Can't wait to get that because I uh, need to make the little old lady as best as possible. And yeah. All right. And I think the imp opening is just about to end. Main reason why I always mute the openings is because um, I, I fear of anything like coming out, like in terms of copyright. So let's put up the volume once again. Essex. Also, I need to hear the dub of this. I've heard it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. I think I just finally awakened her. Or, um, limit breaked her. Limit break. Level break, whatever. 
Mm. Oh, hood. <laughs> Where Spite's in a retrofit uh, position. It's like she knows. <laughs> I still need to work on my Montpelier. I, there's a lot of build, units I'm building. I just finished my retrofit for um, Soryu. So now I have both Hyryu and Soryu um, completely retrofitted. We cowboy bebop in this. So it's just a giant ass war. Oh, are they gonna actually look like they the actual counterparts? Cause I know the um Akashi and the Kaga are have a very unique style in the fronts where it's like open in the middle. Oh Nechan. Oh, yeah, and no, some people were saying that Akagi was um, doing all this for, to bring up... Oh, it is. Okay, yep. Those fronts... The fronts of the um, of the aircraft carrier have that open, like, hatch. It's really cool looking. But, yeah, um, but Akagi was doing everything that she was doing was to, in fact, resurrect Amagi. Yuki Kaze. You need to hurry up and grace my dock. Hurry up. I already have Ayanami retrofitted. I think I have your sugar ray. <laughs> I'm still working on Javelin's Retrofit. I just can't get any of those freaking gold blueprints. Just need two more. But I've also been focusing a little bit on um, other ones because I've been trying to get Battleship ones. Out of curiosity, though, for the play people who are players, what other ship would you like to see get a retrofit? Although, granted, I don't know if retrofits are actually based off of, like, historic things. Like, they actually were retrofitted. But, yeah. I mean, I actually don't know that. I'll probably look into that my own. But... If that is the case, and they only are doing retrofits based off of historical things and landmarks, what ship would you like to see retrofitted, even if it wasn't in line with history, I guess you could say? <laughs> Freaking Portland. I, I don't care. Portland was one of my first, um, like, three stars. And I trained her up eventually to uh, get her retrofit. And I, I've used her to this day. She's also a really damn good unit. I actually used her before I even knew, knew about, like, tier lists. Helena. Helena. Minneapolis? South Dakota. Massachusetts. Hey, they're all dark skins. It's okay. They're also top tier. <laughs> so, what I'm assuming, I mean, it's fairly obvious that, that once someone pointed this out, that Akagi is doing this to bring back Amagi. However, we, I highly 
I haven't played a lot of events, like I said. But I feel like the um, sirens are using her emotions to do what they're doing. Yeah, no, I get seasick. I've been on I've been on cruises three times in my life. Last time I got the worst motion sickness, so mm mm. A rocking boat would completely ruin me. Alright, so what's going to summon out of this thing? Because this is obviously a summon thing. It's not a giant attack, I don't think. Is that a red sun? Red moon? It turned into night! Okay, so they summoned... Okay, so the sirens are going to come. Basically, it's going to be the sirens and the... Um, IJN fighting them. Because I don't think they're... Because I don't... I mean, I might have missed it, but I don't think I saw the um, Iron Bloods with them. Yep, okay. So there are some of the Sirens. Siren Flagship. Akagi, I love you, but you one crazy bitch. <laughs> I'm glad that we're actually finally finally seeing the full on just battle. R.I.P. R.I.P. Hood. I know it's. I know this isn't gonna follow the actual storyline, but see, I would love to have Sheffield come come home. Okay, Ken. I will admit, I said this before, I love the sound design. Are you sure about that? You say. I have you say. So three stars too. All right, is Hugo? I think Hugo's a three star. Or I, I keep on saying three star because I apologize. When I say three star, I mean blue rarity. And when I say two star. Girls Frontline, I apologize. <laughs> Can't wait till I'm done finally throwing, done throwing, um, <laughs> War Spite. I see that retro fit pose. Um, no, I can't wait for, um, my training to be done with Kaga and Akagi so I can start using them. I think I have, I think I have their skills maxed out now. I'm just waiting to get them to a... Higher level so I can progress fa farther. 
I don't really need to. I just need to get better gear too. And gear requirements have been a little bit hard to come by. I'm gonna like seeing, um, I'm gonna like seeing a Tago fight. Hey, I just got you retrofitted. Retrofitted. That looks like the same poor like thing in the events when you get farther in. Oh my god, that smile, though. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this a lot. See, that sound design, man. So good. No. I mean, not in the game. So yeah, this episode is just basically an entire fight. Perfectly fine with this. She crazy. Cleveland? No. Belfast. I still need to get her skin. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Is that a holy phantasm? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not too familiar with Faye, but I I got that. Wait, subs? Oh, okay. Create almost a um to create a almost like a smoke screen almost but with water, you know. See so, yeah, I people were telling me that like Yorktown in the anime like just lost her leg. Unlike in the game where she, she, she died. I also love like how uh, how much fan art has come out with Belfast and um Enterprise. I'm guessing this is where we're going to start seeing the dark Enterprise. Couldn't recognize those. Oh, 
Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm loving these enhanced bass sound effects. So this is code G, from what people have been telling me. <laughs> I'm a poet and I don't know it. <laughs> okay, so her appearance, besides just her eyes, hasn't changed. Wait, did she just... I did You barely even saw that! <laughs> Like you, did, it was just an instantaneous. Oh, and you're gone. We end game now, boys. <laughs> And then it was just those two, but like... Damn. And she's like, be gone. It's just gonna slice right through it, isn't it? Be gone. That? Oh. Okay, very symbolic. Amagi, okay. It's almost a suit. I mean, that was an obvious rubber's um, symbolism of death, but. They said they weren't going to have any girls on any of the ships sunk, sink. Hmm. And it's going to have ended up some motherfuckers. No, they're not going to kill off a Kagi just like that. It's only the seventh episode. And they said that they're not going to have any of the ships sink at all hmm I'm curious as to see what's gonna happen I'm really curious no okay like in all honesty this episode was really damn good simply because the entirety of it was just pure just action straight to finish no in between and I thought that was fantastic. It was just a giant battle throughout the entire time. A lot of questions. Who is... Like, so... Enterprise got Siren Powers. I do find it funny that Siren Powers aren't like... Are, na are light in nature, like a light um, color in general. Um, which is kind of pretty interesting. Um... And you got to see that with Enterprise. The Enterprise got the those colors in her eyes. So it's I'm assuming she got siren like powers. And because she didn't turn into Exit Price or Code G, whatever she's her name is. Ah, oh, she's smiling. 
She's gonna say it's not your time yet. She's gonna phase her through her. Okay, that was kind of... <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I got a little bit of chills on that one. <laughs> Alright, that was a really damn good episode. A really good episode. Uh, I can definitely see why they took an ep episode break. Because I could tell the animation got significantly better. Like, the fight scenes were really clean. Um, A couple of little choppy spots, but it was in terms of the characters animation rather than you know all the other things the sound effects was on point the ships and the uh airplanes fantastic um and even the 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 flame effects for the planes uh for both uh, akagi and kaga were fan not phenomenal um i thought they were done brilliantly and i think the only thing that it lacks in is at times the character animation or the silo or, or the portraits are a little off but again i'm not going to be complaining and all honestly i didn't expect it to be as good as this, like this anime to be as good as it is based off of the very very poor content um or like not poor content just low content that you could really make out of the game um after of the game i mean really after like what chapter two or three there's really no real content outside of events and yeah so the fact that this show is as enjoyable as it is with the low amounts of content that the original source material has i think speaks volumes to how much i'm enjoying the show and how the show is actually a good show in general but yeah let me know what you guys thought in the comments below about this episode and yeah i'm gonna probably be streaming later on today so Look forward to that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction to Azure Lane. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Flashback Fridays. Until then, I'll see you later. See ya.